Hello, this is Oben, Voice for the People. I'm Thomas Kamulat with the news. Ethiopia's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Wark Nagabayon, presented his office six months performance report to the House of People's Representative yesterday. Significant gains were made from the activities uh, carried out to protect and advance the nation interests of the country and acquitted the international community with the nationwide reforms, he said. The effort is carried out to get new partners and reinforce ties with the existing ones have borne encouraging results, he said, adding more work is well done to maintain sustainable peace and promote economic integration in the Horn of Africa region. The foreign minister also appreciated the part the, in particular, the gains made from diplomatic efforts undertaken to promote development and economic integration with Djibouti, Eritrea, and other Horn of African countries. In addition to the dialogues held with relevant bodies to resolve the problems along the Ethiopia-Djibouti corridor, Ethiopia sent to Asmara a draft document that specified port usage rates and logistic service provision to use Eritrean ports. Discussion were also held between Ethiopia and Somalia to use Port Somalia, Port of Somalia, and better efforts were also made to persuade Nile-based countries to ratify and sign the cooperative framework agreement. Has said. Foreign Minister Work in Gabayo urged ambassadors to be well aware of contemporary regional geopolit geopolitical and global trends to craft pragmatic viable policy recommendation to the ministry. In opening the training for the newly appointed ambassadors on Monday, Work in said the training will be an eye opener, highly instrumental to better equip and refrain to stamina of the stamina of our new ambassadors. He added that it supports Ethiopia's interests in foreign missions and promotes its foreign policy strategic through international organizations as the ambassadors are attempting to navigate a highly uncertain and erratic global system. The foreign affairs accentuated Ethiopia's for foreign policy as an active one with a care mission directed to achieve and strengthen democracy, stability, safety, and economic development in Ethiopia. The ministry envisions fostering inclusive economic growth through the expansion of trade for prosperous and sustainable country fully integrated in globalization and a equitable world. The Finnish administration announced that it will lift street people starting from next week. Deputy Mayor of the city, Administration General Takala Uma briefed media on the issue. Olmo Bain is more on that. The Finnish city administration announced that it will leave the citizens to live on the streets starting from the next week. The city administration has also allocated 100 million bur for this purpose. Deputy Mayor of Finnish city, Engineer Takala Uma, said that lifting the citizens from the streets is not only to take them to home, but also to meet them with their dreams. <laughs> Lifting our citizens from the streets is not only to take them to feed themselves or live in house, but also to realize their dreams and hopes. More than 50,000 children, youth and females live on streets in our city. Starting from next week, we will rehabilitate them in six different centers. And General Takala added that various stakeholders, including media, should support the city administration to save the life of citizens live on the streets. <laughs> This job is common for all of us. It is a matter of saving our citizens. It is also a matter of ensuring protection of our citizens' lives. Therefore, religious institutions, schools, and regional states should support us. 
According to Engineer Takel, a board is already established to process the work, adding that public figure artists like Hachalu Undesa, Teodoros Kassan, Gusai Tasfaya and others are also ready to support the citizens through organizing fundraising concerts. Meanwhile, Head of Tourism and Culture Bureau of Infine City, Assistant Professor Nabiu Baye said that Council of European Tourism and Culture has selected Infine as a city of 2019 World Tourism and Culture. Nabiu added that it will make the city to be known and visited by various European countries. He noted that Finfine is selected because it is center of various religions and seat for many international organizations. With the rank of Regional Vice President Coordinator of Economic Cluster, Ahmed Tusa said, to scale up the export agricultural products, financial institutions should play their role. The Cooperative Bank of Romania has given a recognition award to export to its exporter customers. Karubran was the detail. Corporate Bank of Oromia has awarded its clients who have been highly participating on trade and export using the loan provided for them by the bank. Coordinator of Cluster of Economic Affairs with the rank of Vice President of the Oromia Regional State, Ahmad Tusa said, the foreign currency the country is earning from agriculture product is not as per expected. He had that finance institutions should work with due attention to provide quality agriculture products for global market. <laughs> One solution of solving problems of agricultural productivity is investing on water. The work undertaken by the Cooperative Bank of Oromia to support agricultural activities should be continued. He underscored that the Oromia Regional State is ready to provide all necessary support for the work started by the bank. President of the Oromia Cooperative Bank, Darby Asfa, for his part, note that his bank is unique in providing loan for the rural community, adding that the bank is the industry of the country. Especially, we have registered more than 80% of deposit money. The bank had 10 billion before three years. Now it is increased to 34 billion. It could also increase deposit money from 7 billion to 30 billion. The loan service is also maximized from 5 billion to 20 billion. Haile Gabri is among founders of the bank. He said the aim of finance institutions and exporters should be overcoming poverty. We are in a poverty line for those who look at us seriously. So finance institutions and experts should work with great commitment to solve this problem. Some exporters who have been awarded had to say the following. This bank is farmer's bank. We are also farmers. Our union has 405 associations and more than 300,000 farmers under it. We are exporting coffee. We export more than 7,000 tons of coffee annually. We have got 1.3 billion burr low earned from this bank. On the occasion, exporters who have been working with the bank for the last three years have got award and recognition certificate from the bank. Ethiopia and the United Kingdom enjoy a common vision and true friendship in their diplomatic ties, said Foreign Affairs State Minister Mark Ostakler. State Minister Mark Oz received a letter for a letter of credential of UK's newly appointed ambassador to Ethiopia and a permanent representative to the AU ambassador David Mike Phil yesterday. Mark Oz commented commended UK's endeavor in maintaining and developing excellent relations between the two countries in all domains of cooperation that span that span helping to boost political, cultural, economic and social relations. He also appreciated the UK's of offering a wide range of service and funding various projects in Ethiopia for more than 100 years. David Mike Phil appreciated the com complementary relation between Ethiopia and the United Kingdom, highlighting the true friendship and a common vision both countries enjoy, including collaboration of Peltora, Peltora of issuing of mutual concerns at regional and global levels. UK supporters, UK supporters, the multifaceted economic political reforms in Ethiopia, which have indeed laid down solid and firm foundation for nation, national consensus, unprecedented in modern historic 
Ambassador David noted in our website reported. Dukem Town Administration had called that investors' role is immense to develop the town. Investors' discussion has been held in the town administration. Let us read the detail. Even though many projects have been done by private investors in Dukem Town of East Shore Zone in Oromia, only few of them take part in infrastructural expansion. Residents of the town often talked to suggested that if the remaining investors participate in developmental activities, it would play an indispensable role in resolving economic-related problems. They also appreciated the exemplary work of the business persons. The surrounding community cares for this factory just as it is own property because our children have got job here in the factory, but few of them participate in infrastructural expansion which serves the society in its vicinity. The town administration said it established a committee and forum that participates business persons aimed at resolving infrastructure-related problems. However, the business person said that it was not working as needed due to lack of good governance in the town. Leaders were transferred to other places or positions without implementing their plan, completing what they discussed with the society and agreed on, and solving the problems that need solutions. You officials open up your bureaus. In addition, listen to public questions. You can learn a lot from our Prime Minister. On the event, Dukam Town Administration Municipal Manager Zagai Sahalu said the town administration is ready to address the observed limitations in this regard. And the Hulum sector. Any investor can inform our mayor of the town administration about any case because the town administration had the power to take legal measures or correctional measures. Chairperson of the forum, Aklilu Abate, for his part, stressed that the investors are ready to build infrastructures in the town if the raised issues are addressed by government. Mayor of the town, Tashome Grima, underlined that the forum would play a vital role in facilitating the situation for the development of the town. The participation of investors and residents in the town is high, but we did not use this opportunity well. As you said, there is leadership change to address the limitations related to this case. We have to make a sustainable plan. If this happens, it is possible for the leaders that come to the office to continue the work. Therefore, our future work would be worked in this way. Documents show that there are plenty of investors projects run by over 500 investors that have registered 19.5 billion per thank you for watching and goodbye Is there in a Oba Olebulla? Bull, Olfaneduna, Run, Elon Ravna, Ham, Anukorma, the Rabasi Dawasu, Awas, Otto Dawase.